check out these two workflows right here. This one is going to post images to Instagram. This one is going to post reels to Instagram. I have the full tutorials on how to build these workflows in N8N on my YouTube channel. I added in this Google Drive node that processes your files and keeps things organized in Google Drive. I also added this wait node right here just to make sure that things are cleaned up in the image posting workflow. So I'll go ahead and test these workflows one at a time so you can see what's going on. In Google Drive, in my images folder, I have a file ready to be published. In my video folder, I have a file ready to be published. I'll click test workflow and we'll run just through these right here with the new node so we can see what's going on. That would then run off and publish to Instagram if I had it fully connected. But what I'm showcasing here is this new node added in. This node will remove the file from my images folder. This is now an empty images folder and it is moved into the processed media folder. So you can load up your images folder with tons and tons of images. And each time the automation runs, that image will get moved into the processed media folder just to keep track of all your files. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Let's test the workflow, run the videos. Same thing, same node, same operation here to move a file. Let's check Google Drive. And in my process media folder, I have that video along with that image that was moved. So the main focus here, a lot of people were asking me about this. If you want to process and remove a file from the automated folders, just to make sure it's not getting double posted, or you can send it off into another folder in Google Drive. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up these additional nodes and make these adjustments to these two N8N workflows. If you followed along from my previous videos, you should have these workflows already built out. If not, and you're coming into this video for the first time in the description of this video, find the link to my school community where I teach people how to build automations and streamline your day to day workflows, streamline your business and build cool stuff in N8N, as well as some of my previous automations are all built in make.com. So you can check out all of my make tutorials, all of my resources, and specifically focus on all the new cool stuff happening in N8N with agents and AI capabilities. I have weekly calls set up in the calendar. You're free to join, ask questions, we can discuss things or work on your very specific automation builds and get things working for you. If you go to join, you'll see this $39 per month price, but I'm still running an offer for an annual price that brings it down to $8.25 per month. Kind of a no brainer to figure out all of your automation needs and start working with me. But for now, let's get into updating these two workflows. All right, let's get right into it. So these are my two workflows that we're going to be altering and fixing up today. This is the post images to IG workflow and the post reels to IG workflow. Now, most likely you landed on this video because you want to update your workflows along with me. But if you just landed on this video as the first one you're watching, you can take a look at my other two YouTube videos where I show you step by step how to build out these automations, entering in all the information for each of the nodes incredible workflows to completely automate your posting to Instagram from a Google Drive folder. Let's work on the post images to IG workflow here. Now we're gonna add another wait node similar to the Reels poster. We have a wait node in there. I'll come into this route, click on the plus to add a new node. If you need to add a node in N8N, you can type in the search bar, type in wait, find that wait node. And we want to wait five seconds just in case that meta container takes a little bit extra time to be created inside of meta we can wait five seconds i'll click outside of this node and we can rename this node i'll right click on it name it wait five seconds click rename and you can see the reels poster node we're waiting 60 seconds for that instagram container to be created cool the next node we're going to add in here let's stick with the image poster for now so we can add this google drive node anywhere in the workflow it's going to function the same way but let's go ahead and and just stick it down right here after the download image node. I'll hover over the route, click the plus to create a new node, type in Google in the search bar and find the Google Drive node. Now we're going to move a file. We could just delete a file out of that folder just to make sure we're getting that processed file out of the automated folder. But in this case, we're going to move a file into a processed folder. So in this node, make sure you have your same Google Drive credential set up in there. And we actually have to get that file from the input 
over here. In this section, drop this down. We're going to choose by ID. Now we have to run the automation to get that file ID so we can link up and map the schema into this field here. So I'm going to click outside of this node. This node is going to be giving us an error until we can get that filled in. I just want to run these two nodes to get that data through and input into this node. I don't necessarily want to run the entire workflow. So what I'm going to do is unlink this route, click on the trash can to unlink that route. Just to make sure this workflow doesn't run, I'm going to hover over this Google Drive trigger and toggle it off, deactivate it. Now, when we click test workflow, it's just going to run these two nodes just to get that data through so we can map it into this Google Drive node here. Additionally, I will toggle off this node just to make sure we can test this workflow and run these two nodes. Now I'm going to jump over to Google Drive. I need to make sure I have something in that image folder to test with and run down and get that data. So here I am in my drives. I have the automated folder for videos, automated folder for images. I'm going to double check my images folder and see I've got something in there just like that. Again, you can load up this with hundreds of images and let all those run through on that schedule you set. If you're coming into this video fresh, definitely check out my other videos or hop into my school community where you can download these workflows and get them set up. So I'm gonna jump back into N8N and click on test workflow. This is gonna run these two nodes. You can see them run just like that. And now we have that data to map in this node here. So I'm going to reactivate this node and link it back up. I'll grab this route handle and plug it into the node like that. Double click into this node, come back into it. Now we have this input coming in. We can plug into this field right here. So I'm going to switch the input view to the schema view. We need to find that input schema in the spaces array. I'm going to scroll down, find spaces. Here's that file name right there. And this is the ID we want. To. I'll click and drag this ID, drop it down into the field right there. And we can double check. We have this little preview of the ID right there. We want to double check. That's the ID right there. Now we can choose where this file is getting moved in my drive. So I want to create a new folder here. I'm going to jump back into Google Drive, come back into my parent folder, and I'll create a process folder here. So I'll right click into the space, click on new, create new folder, call it processed media and click create. Now remember any Google Drive folders you're working with in N8N have to be a shared folder. This parent folder is actually a shared folder. So any folders I create in here are automatically going to appear as shared folders. To create this shared folder, come over here, click on the share button, drop this down right here and choose anyone with the link, then click done. Now that's a shared folder so N8N can access it. And in N8N, I wanna search for this folder by URL. So I'm going to click into this folder. This is my new empty folder, process media, and copy the URL. Come back into N8N. Now for the parent folder here, I can drop this down, choose by URL, and paste that folder URL right there. Now we're moving this file into this new folder. I'm going to click on test step, and that has processed. If we check Google Drive, we can see now already in my processed media folder, I have that one image file. If we go back to my image folder here, double click into that. We can see my images folder is now empty. That file has moved from images to processed media. I'm gonna jump back into N8N, click outside of this node. Now, the one thing we need to do for the images post here, this image analyzer is actually getting the binary data from the Google Drive download node here. So we need to make sure that is still working correctly. I'm gonna double click into this analyze image open AI node and click on test step. And as you can see, now this is broken because we're not directly getting that binary data from the previous step. So what we need to do is change the input type, drop this down, select image URLs, and we can go back to the download image node, scroll down and find the web content link. Click and drag that into the URL and click test step. Now we're getting that image from the URL and not the binary data and that output is working just as it was before. Great. I'm going to click outside of this node. We finished with the images workflow update. Slide this over a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that same thing for the reels post. We're just going to add this node in between these two nodes right here. So first of all, I'm going to activate this trigger just to make sure we're only running these two nodes, same as we did up here. I'll reactivate this trigger node, come up here and deactivate this trigger node. Then I'll unlink 
this route just to make sure we're testing data down these two nodes only and not running anything else in this workflow. Now I need to get into my video folder, make sure I have a video in that folder to test with. I'll come into Google Drive, come into my video folder, and here's a short form video that I can test with. Again, you can load up this folder with a bunch of videos and have that run through on that schedule. If you wanna learn how to actually build these automations, you can check out my previous YouTube videos. I'm gonna jump back into any N and click test workflow. That's gonna run these two nodes only, giving us that sample data to work with and plug in the next Google Drive node. So before I click on this plus to create a new node, I'm just gonna grab this toggle handle and plug it back in to the open AI node. Then when I click the plus here to create a new node, it'll automatically space everything out nice and uniform. I'll click that plus right there and search for the Google Drive node. Choose Google Drive and move file. Make sure you're using your same credential. Now we can choose the file by ID. Let's drop this down, choose by ID in the input. Let's change the input view to schema. We'll scroll down to the spaces array. Find your file right here. That's my file name. Drag and drop the file ID into that field right there. Now we can search for the parent folder. I'll drop this down, say by URL. And we can go get that file URL for the folder. I'll jump back into Google Drive. I want to get the URL of the processed folder. So I'm going to jump back into this parent folder, go into my processed media folder and copy that URL right there. Jump back into N8N and paste the URL right there. Now we can click on test step. Let's double check Google Drive. We can see right away in my process media folder, I have that new video pop up in here. If I check my video folder, I have nothing in my video folder. So that is moving files correctly. I'll jump back into N8N, click outside of the node. Everything should be good to go for this one, but let's double check the open AI node just in case we need to change this right here. It looks like it's connected up and working just fine. I'll double check coming to the schema view and we're looking at this file name right here. So we were previously getting the file name from the Google download video module. Now we're getting the file name from the new Google Drive move a file module. So just making sure that file name is linked up in here just as it was from the previous module, that should work just fine. I'll just test it and see what we get. And that content works fine. We're getting that open AI node to write that caption just like that. So we are good to go. I'll click outside of the node, clean this up a little bit. I'll save the workflow and toggle it on. And before we forget, let's toggle back on this Google Drive trigger right here. Now it's great about N8N, you can have both of these workflows in the same canvas space here. So these workflows will run just as well as if they were in separate canvas spaces. You can leave them just like this and each of them will run respectively from that Google Drive drive folder that it's associated with. Well done. Pretty easy addition to process your files in Google Drive, have the automation take care of moving files around for you. Or if you want to add that delete file Google Drive node, that's something you can do as well, just to make sure your automated folders are staying fresh and clean with the files that you want to be uploading and publishing to Instagram. If you like my videos and want to support what I'm doing, I have the link to my school community in the description of this video. That is the best way to show your support and get a hold of me if you want to work on your automations. If there's any troubleshooting you want to take care of, I am very active in the school group, helping people out, answering questions and building cool stuff together. So I look forward to seeing you in the group and I'll see you in the next video.